An afternoon jog for 34-year-old Sherry Papini near her Reading home turned into a nightmare for her husband Keith, November 2nd, 2016, as he dialed 911. I found her phone and it's got like hair ripped out of it, like in the headphones. So I'm like totally freaking out, thinking like somebody okay, like what's just grabbed her. Sherry never picked up the kids from daycare. Oh my God. Multiple searches were conducted and missing posters of the smiling wife and mother of two were plastered everywhere in the Shasta County area. But Sherry was nowhere to be found. That is until three weeks later, Thanksgiving morning. We are very ecstatic to report that Sherry Papini has been located. Papini was found on the side of County Road 17 in Yolo County, 150 miles away from her home. I see this blonde woman Evidence shows she was physically assaulted multiple times during the three-week ordeal. She was also branded on the back of her right shoulder. Investigators say during her 22 days of captivity, Sherry only came in contact with two women. But we're now learning the California Department of Justice collected DNA samples of an unknown man. Private investigator Cody Salfin was hired by the Papini family and only worked on the case while she was missing. It's something to pay attention to, but I don't think it necessarily indicates deception. But today, a break in the case. Two sketches of Papini's kidnappers. One female captor is described as a 5 foot 5, 20 to 30 years old with a medium build and curly dark hair. The other woman is between 40 and 50 years old, around 5 foot 7 with straight black hair. Detectives say Sherry is still in recovery, so it's taken a while for her to be ready to meet with a sketch artist. Now, nearly a year later, there are still more questions than answers. Just like everyone else, I'm curious to see how it plays out.